let's dimension the door next click this pull down menu select aligned click zoom a bit open click here click here and click here next click align button again zoom open click here click here and click here next click aligned again zoom open click here click here and click here next zoom open click aligned again click here click here and click here next click aligned again click here click here and click here next type prop for properties press enter this dialog box will appear next highlight all these aligned dimensions in this dialog box scroll down and look for test under test locate test height delete this 2.5 increase this to 15 and press enter we're going to increase this height let's try 50 and press enter on the keyboard let's try 100 let us go with 100 i'll press escape on the keyboard now we have this next scroll open pick the line tool click here and track this is 150 i'll press escape on the keyboard next i will type dim edit and press enter next click oblique click this press enter on the keyboard type 150 and press enter this is aligned to 150 press enter again to activate dim edit select oblique click this 800 press enter type 150 and press enter we're going to click this and stretch it here let's do this so that both of them will be aligned we have this next for this 50 pick the line click here track 210 press escape type dim edit and press enter select oblique click this press enter type 210 and press enter now we have this instead of 210 i will do ctrl z let's go this way down by 270 degrees i will type dim edit press enter select oblique click this press enter type 270 and press enter this is better next i will select the line to pick this point let's align this to 30 degrees i'll press escape on the keyboard next i will type dim edit i'll press enter select oblique click this press enter type 30 and press enter this is fine this will also be 30 degrees i'll press enter again select oblique select this press enter and type 30 and press enter this is fine this door here everything is one over two of everything here that is click aligned select here select here and click you see this is 450 while this is 900 click this and we're going to increase that to 100 that's the test height press enter and we have this dim edit press enter oblique the angle is 150 and press enter and we have this next i will click aligned click here click here and click here click aligned again click here click this end and drop this here aligned again click here click here and drop it here aligned again click here click here 
and drop it here next align again select here select here and drop it here next i will click on this click on this click on this select this and select this all of them should have the same property i will increase the test height all 200 and press enter we should all have this i'll press escape on the keyboard next if this is 150 this should also be 150 that is dim edit and press enter oblique this is 1000 i will select that press enter type 150 and press enter we have this for this pick the line to click this track this is 30 degrees i'll press escape on the keyboard dim edit press enter select oblique click this press enter type 30 and press enter this should also align 30 degrees i'll press enter oblique select this enter i will type 30 and press enter this is aligned at 30 degrees this is also aligned at 30 degrees for this dim edit again select oblique click this press enter this is 270 i'll press enter next press enter again oblique select this press enter this is 150 i'll press enter with this i have dimensioned most part of this staircase including the door i will select all these dimensions including those of the doors all of them have the same property i will go to the property and change the color let me select a particular color here i will go for gray i will click let me go for a lighter gray this is fine i will click ok i will close this dialog box press escape on the keyboard we now have this i will type zoom on the keyboard press enter i will click here create a window around this and click you should have this next click this capital letter a click save as save this project with a name now you have saved your drawing i hope these basics was helpful